Hi, it's Lavana from the Cottage of Grace. And I just wanted to show you real quick my personal altar. I've changed it up a little bit. Um, and when I did, it seemed like a theme kind of popped up with it. And I just wanted to give you a, a real quick look at what it is and um, what it's all about. Um, it's about stuff for me personally. It's just my little area. It's always my thankfulness area to God. And... Um, but the, the the theme that popped up for me was the thankfulness that I have in my heart for my family, for my husband and my son, my daughter, and my uh, father-in-law and my mother-in-law. And um, I'll explain all that. And But let me show you what I've got going on. Um, this is my daughter's easel that we made for her because she paints. She is very artistic. And um, this painting and this painting go together as a set. And um, she made that it specifically kind of just for herself. And um, I, I, I just think it's really cute. It's really, it's very modern moderny <laughs> modernish here I am a, a novel writer and I can't get my words out right whoops this one's not right either there we go and this one's not right either because she signs her pictures a certain way so and then this one here the bigger one is of the ocean coming up on the shore and the starfish are there and that one she made um, I think she made it for me because I like the ocean so much and um, but the one that she specifically made for me is this one back here and it has a very big tree and a river with rocks around it and mountains in the background and a bright blue sky with white puffy clouds and um, she specifically made that for me it was my birthday present I think last year and I had been having really bad horrible migraines because I had my ablation of the C1 C2 nerve done a year ago this September and the ablation uh, failed and it exacerbated all my pain. I spent a lot of time in my very dark room. If you watch my post about migraines, you'll understand what I was talking about. So she made this painting specifically for me so that I would always have a bright spot in my day. And I would have the ability to have the outdoors inside. And I've kept it on my dresser all this time so when I wake up the very first thing I see is that painting and it has meant so much to me because there have been many days where um, I wake up and I can tell right away I don't feel good or if I spend the day in bed I can look at that and I'm like there's a little piece of the outdoors brought inside for me but um, the rest of the altar, uh, like I said, focuses again on family. Uh, like I said before, in a post before, my husband bought this cup or chalice or goblet, whatever you want to call it, um, specifically for me at a Renaissance fair. He has one that matches, except for his is a mug, and I have this. And we as a family love to do pottery. Uh, we do paint your own pottery all the time, and that's where this box came from. I made this specifically for myself at the place where we always vacation. And uh, it's got seashells and all kinds of stuff on it. And this box here uh, belonged to my Grandma Esther, and when she passed away, um, I received this box. It's made out of some kind of stone. And this painting back here, my daughter did. I don't know if you can tell. It's got like glitter and stuff in it. But, I mean, it is just 
it's beautiful it's uh it's a c i'm sorry it's at c and it's at night time and the ship is not sailing it's flying and um so i've kept that one uh that one was made in an art class at school and this my son made for me uh, Mother's Day of 2004. It's Jesus on the cross, as you can see. And it says, He did this for me so that I could be with you on Mother's Day. Love, Tyler. And my painting doesn't want to stand up. <laughs> anyway, that's okay. Um, I still have my menorah up and my Israel cup that has all of these pieces of coral that I found at the Red Sea when I was there. Uh, I kind of weeded out my rocks a little bit and I've kept certain things that I've just been thinking about lately like uh, the Negev Desert. I spent time there doing construction. The Sea of Galilee, a rock from the Red Sea, the Garden of Gethsemane, and this rock is from Qumran and it also says the Valley of the Shadow and that must have been around the Wadi Kelt. Wadi in Hebrew means valley and that was the area that King David penned the Psalms 23 and that one is a special rock to me and even my altar cloth I've uh, changed it from white to red. It matches my room very well. But um, this was given to me from my in-laws, my father-in-law and my mother-in-law. And um, my father-in-law passed away. And he, um, he was just the most amazing man. And that's not even a strong enough word to really describe um John and my mother-in-law Geneva is sweet as pie she'd never heard a fly and she's very loving and caring and um so I put that on my personal altar it's a table runner that they gave to me and I usually put it out about this time of year and I keep it out all the way through the holidays because it's got fruit and um all kinds of stuff on it and it is just perfect for this time of year but um, I wanted it on my space uh, for my personal area so everything that means something to me is represented on my altar and I've extended it over into the easel because um, my daughter's artistic abilities they I mean they're very important to me and I try to encourage her with what she does and the more she does, the better she gets, and she's just, she's so loving. I call her my little best friend, and I just mean little because she's just, well, she's taller than me, thank God, but um, she's, you know, still my youngest, and anyway, um, this is what my altar is. Oh, I didn't explain the big stick back here. This big stick is <laughs> pretty much almost as tall as I am. And I found that on the nature walk that we took over Labor Day weekend with my soon-to-be daughter-in-law and one of her brothers, Adam. So, yeah, my whole entire family is represented there, as well as everything that God's brought into my path, literally, like the stick or the rocks that I found, you know, during my mission trip or these big beautiful seashells that I have found you know while walking on the beach in different areas in North Carolina and so everything that is important to me at this particular time is on there and I'm very grateful I'm very thankful and um, doing this makes you realize how incredibly blessed you are and this altar does not give me salvation. It does not give me baptism. 
it doesn't do you know a hundred million thousand dollars for me to win the lottery it is just me saying I recognize everything from the tiniest seashell which, I, which I've shown before which is in my seashell box to the biggest thing like my stick you know or the beautiful paintings my daughter has done for me or this beautiful thing my son made for me uh, for Mother's Day um, you know and the love of my husband for buying me you know a beautiful piece of pottery which is something that we're you know as a family we're very much interested in and anyway I wish all of you blessings from the Cottage of Grace you know take the time to find things in your life and around you and give thanks so this is just some quiet time and I give you blessings Blessings from the Cottage of Grace. Bye-bye.